Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Thought Leadership Thursday. And my guest today is Jonathan from Ashworth Brothers. Um, and so really great sponsor, great uh, company to work with in the baking industry. And uh, welcome, Jonathan. Well, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And Hello, uh, so Jonathan, tell us a little bit about um, what do you do for, or maybe we should first ask, let everybody know, what is Ashworth Brothers, right? I mean, okay. what do these brothers do? Okay, well, simply, Ashworth Brothers is going to manufacture conveyor belts. We've been in business now for well over 75 years, uh, servicing uh, predominantly the food service industry, but we have other applications in the you know, bottling, canning, packaging, high temperature, low temperature, anything that has to do with conveyance. So mm -hmm. we started out back in like I say, in the 40s, 50s, we've have 200 and some plus patents in the conveyor industry. And we work with all the major players, you know, uh, so we're with OEMs, we work with end users as well. And probably the strength that we have is not only our uh, package of products, but the customization that we do. So uh -huh. we work with end users. Uh, we work with the OEMs as they're developing new equipment and fine tune current products and develop new products that can possibly do what they need to do. So we're very focused on processing, uh, how to get, you know, product throughput increased, how to make everything efficient, keep maintenance to a minimum, you know, sanitation. So all of the key things that people are dealing with in manufacturing today, we try to work with them. So we're not That's just a awesome. supplier. So, so you don't, you don't try to take people and put them into your box. No. You take their box and fit your items to suit their box. And yes. You know, and that's, whether that's it's one an thing octagon that's, or triangle or whatever. Right? And, and that's what's unique to us as well, too, is yeah. we're one of the few manufacturers of conveyor belts that offer both metal and plastic. So by doing that, we don't have to force them into one particular genre, so to speak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we look at what they need, what they want, and we say, and we'll give them the pros and cons of both options. Sometimes we have hybrids, too, where you can mix the two materials and get the best belting for the application so we're not mm -hmm. focusing on one particular type of belting so we can offer you what is best for you so the that's customer awesome. is always our first focus yeah that's awesome and so jonathan tell us a little bit about what do you do for ashworth brothers okay well i'm the director of engineering here so i'm in charge of all the engineering functions that go oh, on wow. through the company mm -hmm. uh we do have a manufacturing facility in the uk as well plus a head sales office in amsterdam also have another sales office in Tokyo and one in Singapore. So we have offices wow. throughout the whole world. And I'm in charge of pretty much, you know, uh, making sure the product that is being made hits quality standards, on time deliveries, all that stuff. So mm -hmm. we, I'm involved with new machine builds, you know, new machine modifications, R&D projects. So anything that has to do with engineering of the products, not only making the products, but the applications of how to use it in the field, I probably get involved in that as well. So I've talked to probably... I wouldn't say thousands, but hundreds and hundreds of customers over the years. I've been here over 30 years, so have a little oh, bit of experience in all this. That so. can easily be thousands. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, and, and I've been lucky. I've got to travel all over the world, too, yeah. and meet a lot of these customers. Well, so yeah, and, and I've seen the applications in person. That That is amazing because that brings, a, a again, some more uniqueness to the table. Mm -hmm. and, uh, be, being such an internationally scoped or broad company mm -hmm. and, and your yes. broad experience is that you know, you're, I, I use the box uh, analogy. Yeah. You're, you're not boxed or tunnel visioned into a certain pattern way of, of solutions is that, you know, you know, what, what worked in Tokyo might work here too. Right. I exactly. Mean, you never know. Right. Um, yeah. There's that, that way there's, there's always that it helped you bring that, that uh, experiential ingenuity mm -hmm. to, to things. That's, that yeah. is really cool. Right. Yes. Um, and so what, what type of products and services would you say that you're most known for? What What is the sort of thing that you would, when people say Ashworth Brothers who have dealt with you, what's the kind of the thing that comes to mind that you think you're most known for? Well, the biggest thing that you say when you talk to Ashworth Brothers, like I said, we've been around for 75 plus years. Back in the 60s, we actually patented a device which was became known as the low tension spiral system. Mm -hmm. The low tension spiral system is a large conveyor where you take a belt wrap it around a cage and you can get a large length of belt into a smaller volume of room or, mm -hmm. and when that came about back in the late sixties, it really revolutionized specifically the food industry because now instead of having a 300 foot long tunnel freezer, 
I can mm -hmm. have a 20 by 20 square foot room with a large, same amount of belt or more. And I'm saving energy because I'm freezing a small space instead of a yep. long space. Yep. Uh, I could put more production into the same building or facility. And uh, we had patents and we as a company focused on the belting. So we worked with OEMs, never really built a spiral system ourselves, but licensed I'm going to say dozens of people around the world who built the systems and bought our belt. And then we helped service de develop, you know, work the systems through. And over the years, those systems have the patents have run out. So there's a lot more uh, people building these systems nowadays, but we still are known for the spiral systems, how they operate and how to make them function correctly. So if there's a lot of troubleshooting involved, we probably have, I wouldn't say the best experts, probably the most experts in the field right now in our plant here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, yeah, that's, that's really incredible innovation that that mm -hmm. really changed the the entire food industry yes. not just the baking industry mm -hmm. and uh, are there any more recent innovations that you can share with us that oh we've done a lot we've done a lot of new product innovations with the belting itself you know especially when it comes to hygiene so we've focused on how to make welds cleaner more sanitized or sanitary for cleanability making mm -hmm. them smoother so wear is minimized mm -hmm. uh we continually look at our processes on the floor and on the plant and it's a unique because like I said, I've been here 30 some years. So as an engineer, you're always saying, how do I make it work? But I've had the luxury of traveling and talking to a lot of people and seeing how the challenges they face, bringing them back here, talking to my fellow engineers, but also talking to my production people on the floor and saying, yeah, how that's... can we make this better? So mm -hmm. as a team, we work very well in solving problems. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say we go out to look for problems, but we always find them, you know, because people come to us and say, how do we fix this? So we constantly look at fixing problems. So that's one thing we're known for. Is we're one of those people, if someone else can't fix it, you might want to call Ashworth. They may have an answer. So, mm -hmm, and if mm -hmm. we don't have the answer, we're willing to work with you to try to solve it and get through it. So we're very good at that. Now, you you also mentioned earlier on, you, you were talking about maintenance and you mm -hmm. have some very interesting yes. specialized maintenance products and I'd we do like you to share that with us we do probably about four or five maybe a little bit longer now we came out with what we refer to as a smart spiral and this was because as i mentioned we were known for the spirals and we were focusing on that particular piece of equipment because if that goes down it's a major part of the production line so mm -hmm. we we developed a device which is a smart spiral which is a, a number of sensors which actually track back to a box and then it maps them and through this mapping system, it actually graphs the, the, the high lows and that tracks trends of what's being monitored, temperature, tension, speeds, you know, whatever we want to put sensors on there. So there's multiple ones we can put on there. And then we track trends. And what we're looking for is not so much as, yes, if there's an anomaly, you evaluate it. But what we're doing is tracking how the machine is operating over time. So we can actually help people do uh, predictive maintenance, meaning they can see, oh, geez, tensions are going up. Why? a bearing is going bad or maybe tensions are getting higher or something else. So we could plan to fix it before it fails. Mm -hmm. And probably the most unique part of that system is we actually patented a bearing, which runs on the, the spiral bearing, which is very low speed as most of oh, you're running probably under five RPMs most of the time. So it's oh. a very low speed RPM acoustic sensor, which actually can track that bearing. And everyone knows if that bearing goes, you're down. And yeah. you don't want it to go and on a Wednesday when the spiral is full of production and you got whatever, 100 mm -hmm. yards of product behind it getting ready to go into it. I can plan to fix it on a Saturday when you're down and not lose that. So we've worked with this system. We have multiple systems installed and we have one system that a customer gave us a very good testimonial where it's saving him, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars yeah. over the time. So it well pays for itself. And it's something we can customize for every every customer out there. Absolutely, this is that's fantastic. Yeah, and this, mm -hmm. in in this today's world, with with the trend of artificial intelligence, as mm -hmm. everybody refers to AI, it yeah. is actually a form of AI because AI is an engineering decision tree, is what it is. It is. I mean, yep. and so it is taking that data, as you said, observing it over time, and it will be able to adjust and determine if. It, if, if this continues on this path, it will fail in so many hours or days right. or whatever. And so that allows you to then make a decision or follow the decision recommended by the, yep. the, the technology yeah. to yeah. let's fix this now while we have the downtime 
so that yeah. we're not down in the middle of production and stuff. And as you know, but like a lot, of the, a lot of parts now today are not on the shelf, so you can yeah, plan exactly. to order it yeah. Yeah. and get it in before the machine goes down. But yeah. the other thing you know, that changes, and over the recent year, we probably actually introduced what now is called our smart oven, which is the same thing for spirals. We're transferring the system into ovens. So mm -hmm. different sensors, same sort of technology, but it's going to help the oven part system as well as the spirals and whatever else you mean. So it's yeah, exactly. the two I systems see. we're focusing on. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I imagine you can even develop this or modify it to put it onto mixers and stuff. Anything, yeah. You, you know, monitoring, again, bearings or gears or things like of that. Of course. Or belts yep. and so on. It's, you know, it's, it's, that is amazing. That's incredible. Again, that that is amazing innovation. That's why yeah. I want to make, to make sure it's, that it's, we, it's we a very that. unique system. We don't have to tie into their own, you know, internet or anything or intranet. So it's yeah. basically you see standalone and we can work with the system and the data is transferred either to your cell phone, your tablet, your mm -hmm. PC. So, and you'll get email alerts if things are set up properly. So you can get there. Yeah. So, you know, ahead of time that something needs to be looked at. It's, it's incredible. I mean, what, what technology yeah. affords us today is just fantastic. <laughs> exactly. I yep. mean, uh, I've always been a bit of a computer geek myself so, um, <laughs> yes uh, I, I i think that's really 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 well, cool. good i mean uh, okay because I've, I've dealt with like in in you know being in a retail baker in that sense like where uh, we had these type of mixers that ran on three belts that uh, yep. um, was basically like a continuous variable transmission type system where you as you tighten the belt you increase the speed right and you're, you know, you're tightening the belt and mixing a dough, and all of a sudden you hear pop. Right? It's like, uh oh, oh, <laughs> you know? one wins, yes. And then the other two aren't strong enough, and they start slipping. It's like, That's okay, it. yeah. great. Know, well, how am I gonna mix this now? Right? I got gotcha. you. Um, yep. Yeah. And so, yeah, I wish I had that back then, so I could. And, and again, I could this determine all developed... when the belt was gonna pop beforehand. Right? Exactly. And this yeah. all developed by talking to the customers, finding out what they need, what they want, and then you know sometimes they don't know, so we make the offer. Here, here's a suggestion. We can do this for you. So it's a mm -hmm. it's a very collaborative business that we we develop with our customers. That's fantastic. Um, yeah. And um, wanted to uh, also kind of maybe put to you, if in terms of you know things that we've covered, making sure we cover all the bases, is that for for the people who are watching or listening the yeah. Thought Leadership Thursday today, what would you like them to remember most or take away from this? Is that if there's one thing you really wanted to stress and 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 share with us? Well, I if simply Ashworth listens. I mean, if you have a problem or you have an issue that needs to have challenge that you can't get through, talk to our group here. We also have none of the engineers here that develop, build, design, and sell the belting, but we have a service group as well that if you have a system that needs to be updated, monitored, some kind of maintenance system, you know, maintenance systems, maintenance people are maybe not as skilled because they're, they're newer. I have a team mm -hmm. that can come in and help train them or do the work and train them so the next time they can do it. So we are really full service. So we have a service system or service group that actually travels all over the world. They're headquartered here in the States, uh, but they, they travel all over the world to help take care of customers. So if you give us a call, we can help you, uh, as I say, from anywhere from... Get, choosing the right belt, you know, trying to calculate, you know, loading on the belt, the longevity of the belt. We can move a spiral from across the country and reinstall it somewhere else, or we can help you install the belt or troubleshoot. If you need bearings changed, we can do it for you. So that's awesome. We have yeah. all that stuff. So we try to take care of the customer. That's fantastic. I, I would summarize that and, and kind of say that you're, you're collaborative problem solvers who understand that you have two ears to listen yes. to first. Very good. And Very good. <laughs> I appreciate that, that. Yes. That is, that is, that is always excellent. Right. Cause I mean, yeah. and, and that's what I, I so often, you know, even with our, our, our members and fellow bakers and that when, when you have a problem, it's, it's also really important to phrase the question correctly. And, 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 you know, as, as before you jump into an answer, listen, listen for what is there the same way you read is just like listening. And, uh, and that way we, we service the customer the best, right? Correct. And that's, that's Correct. the best thing. Um, yep. uh, and do you guys have um, things, information accessible on the internet, like any kind of brochures or, or white papers? Or oh, things like that? our website is very uh, complete. I mean, if you go under our website, we have white papers, we have troubleshooting guides, we have access. If you need to get a hold of us here in the States, you know, in Europe, 
Singapore, Japan, wherever, the, all the number of contact numbers are there. So even our agents, our agents are listed on our website. It's in oh, your fantastic. local country. Yeah. So if you need to have an agent in South Africa or, you know, you're in, you know, Saudi Arabia, there you can find out who's your closest agent that we deal with. So that all that's available. Th yeah. That's like three quarters of the battle sometimes if you don't have a direct office is this, yes. who do you go to to get the support? And having yes. that agent is key, right? Yeah. And it's nice too that, like I say, because we are worldwide, global, you know, it's like they used to say, you know, the sun never set on the English empire. Well, somewhere in the U.S., <laughs> somewhere in the world, you can get a hold of somebody who represents Ashworth. We're out there. The so sun we're out never there sets on so Give us a call. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's like the, in your logo, that road that winds in, into yep. infinity, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and so, and and so, the website again is uh, what, what is the address for that? It's www.ashworth.com. Okay, and that great. goes in. They're very simple. Yeah, very we simple, got it yeah. there, so you can go right mm -hmm. there. And it's it. Uh, our marketing team is very good at updating it fairly frequently. So as we find errors, hope they're not there. But mm -hmm. if we find something, we do corrections. So anything that goes up there, any new products are put on there, so it's very kept up to date. So it, it's it's Super, managed yeah. very well. And you, you, you have a presence on LinkedIn as well, I believe. We do have a presence on LinkedIn and very active on that too. So everyone can look at us through there and, and connect us through that. So we keep up, we do trade shows. They put on new, new little things going on. So we're trying to keep everything active that we're getting much more involved in the, all social media platforms. Yeah. So it is, and what's kind of the best way if somebody wants to get a hold of Ashworth to, to talk more about systems or things like that? Should they go through the website or? The website is good. If they don't have a local rep to talk to, go through the website, LinkedIn. You can always connect us through that as well. So whatever works where you are, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, or what's it, X now or whatever it's called now, you know, you can get in through that. So you can get a hold of us and we are pretty good about getting back to you fairly quickly. So we'll get back okay. to you. Okay. Right so how about carrier pigeon? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. silly. I don't okay. know. The last one didn't come back, so we're worried. <laughs> uh, I think we're we're beyond that now. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, this has been fantastic, Jonathan. Great. Is there anything I haven't covered that maybe you wanted to share, or or um, I mean, this All is I can tell you, so you know, formative with you. Right? We've been very strong, you know, over the over the last, you know, COVID came here a couple of years back. We've mm -hmm. stayed focused on our customers. We're staying focused on material supply. We're staying focused on all this. So we have a pretty good grip on keeping materials coming in, keeping products coming through. So, uh, you know, everyone has their challenges. We're facing, yep. you know, labor, all this stuff that we're doing that. But we're, we're working really hard on this. And we've got a but very so, good team but here. As you commented, I mean, you, you commented about how, you went and talked to production people. So yes. you're also not as, you know, highly reliant on foreign inventory in terms no. of that you are manufacturing things in country yourself. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, yeah. And, you know, like we were talking about parts earlier, I, mm -hmm. I, I own a, a foreign made car and I'm in a, in a group of, of friends and stuff. And the biggest problem that people have, <laughs> knock on wood, I haven't had any yet, um, is getting parts because yes. of all of the, the backlogs of shipments still all yep. over the world since the pandemic. Um, yes. it's, it's, you know, simple parts um, like a, replacing a tail lamp is is taking six months or more. Right? Of course. I mean, that, that, it's that is crazy. crazy right? It's crazy. And so that's amazing to hear that you have the in-country in production facilities. So the only delay is the customization, if you want to even call that a delay. That's the it's biggest part of it. How do you customize? Yeah. And it's the yeah. talk. It's, it's really yeah. the interaction to get to the point of manufacture. So once we get mm -hmm. to that, we usually get in the schedule and get things moving. But like you said, yeah. we have the manufacturing facilities here in the U.S., so we only make in the U.S. Plus we have the manufacturers in the U.K. So those are the two facilities. Uh, and mm -hmm. we do have local facilities that supply both of us both of us so but if our uk needs parts we can probably send them them or they can send us parts so it works very well for that luckily though yeah yeah and that's that's fantastic right yeah well thank you so much for your oh, time well, thank this you has been so amazingly informative um it was a wonderful thought leadership thursday for all of our there and uh so there's ashworth com on the internet and uh, you'll can find so much more information and if you need uh, anything specified or details just contact them and you have great yep. resources like jonathan who can fill you in right terrific thanks All again. Right, well, thank have you a wonderful thursday right. everybody you yep. too guys thanks yep. everybody bye, -bye. bye now